You're watching eBuyer and this is the Corsair MP400 M.2 SSD drive. In this video, I'm going to be covering its key features, testing out its performance and showing you how to install it using our very own testbed. Specifically, this drive is an eight terabyte capacity variant. That's right, 8,000 gigabytes of room for even the largest of game libraries. I love a cheeky game of Battle Royale, but even this drive is going to be more than enough for my expansive game libraries. What's more, the storage is not only plenty some, but also very, very quick. With read speeds of up to 3.48 gigabytes per second and write speeds of up to 3 gigabytes a second, this is five or six times faster than even the quickest SATA SSDs on the market, making it a great choice for NVMe Gen 3 compatible motherboards. I think it's about time that we take this SSD out of the box and actually get it plugged into our motherboard today. It's absolutely insane that this drive has 8 terabytes of capacity in a form factor about the size of my index finger. Hard drives that are of a comparable size are going to be about 10 times the size of this drive, and that really is very impressive from Corsair. We're now going to go ahead and install this M.2 drive into our motherboard of our system. Some motherboards may have a heatsink on top of the M.2 drive, which helps to keep it cool. This drive doesn't require one, but if your motherboard's got one, it will indeed need removing before placing back on in just a second's time. This will go ahead and reveal the M.2 slot itself. In order to install the M.2 drive, we need to fasten it under a retention standoff. That is this screw here. Take this screw out and that's going to basically ensure your M.2 drive doesn't go anywhere. To secure the SSD into place, you want to find the gold connector on the end of the drive and find the notch between this. Line this up with the corresponding notch on the M.2 slot located here and slide the drive in at a 45 degree angle. The drive is then going to sit in this kind of position, a little something like so, before you take that original M.2 standoff screw and use this to fasten the M.2 drive down into place. That singular M.2 connector will give the drive both data and power, so it covers us off quite nicely. Go ahead and actually place the M.2 heatsink back on if you've got one, but no worries if not, and your M.2 SSD is nicely installed. Now that our SSD is installed into the motherboard, we need to initialize the disk. To do that, we're going to just search create and format hard disk partitions, which gives us our disk manager. Straight away, it's telling us to initialize a disk before it can be accessed. That's what we want to do for this one. And then we're also going to right click and create a new simple volume. We're then just going to jump through each of the stages. We've got 7.6 terabytes able to allocate. We're going to give it the drive letter D. This is completely up to you, but obviously you'll need to pick something that hasn't been used before. We're going to call this the Corsair MP400 and go through and hit next and then going to click finish and it's going to go through and format that drive. We've now got a completely empty disk which we should be able to do a speed test on. To test our speed of our drive we're going to go into crystal disk mark which is an application that looks a little something like this and allows you to test the speed of basically any drive out there. Make sure you select the correct drive so in our case it's D with its 7.4 terabytes of allocated storage and then click all. This could take a second, so do be patient, and we'll return with some numbers. Crystal Disk Mark then has now finished giving us our initial sequential read and write numbers, and here you can see we're in the region of 3.4, 3.5 gigabytes per second on our sequential reads, with over 3 gigabytes a second on our sequential writes, which is slightly faster than is advertised for this drive. Either way, it perfectly lines up with the 5 to 6 times performance increase over what you'd see with even the fastest SATA SSDs on the market. And all in all makes this a blazingly fast drive with a whole heap of capacity. Thank you for watching this video from eBuyer and hopefully we'll see you soon.